Lethbridge police say a large grass fire that threatened several homes is now being treated as suspicious. It started around floor four yesterday afternoon and spread through the coolies from 41st Avenue to Pavan Park. Wind blew the flames within a few hundred meters of several homes in Hardyville. Fire crews from Lethbridge and surrounding areas worked for hours to put out the blaze and douse flare-ups. Police closed off streets so emergency crews could work. People who live in the area say the flames came so close they started preparing to leave. Immediately we went and just got all our stuff like right away. We're just like, Whoa. you know, we, I was thinking about Slave Lake last year when, you know, half yeah. the town burned down. And so we went and, else. you know, gathered all of our stuff together, our laptop and important pictures. Lethbridge has been under a fire ban since Friday. Sunday's grass fire was the second in that area in just three days. And RCMP are investigating a suspected arson that sent a Fort McLeod team to hospital with critical injuries. Investigators are continuing to gather evidence from the home that went up in flames around 6 Saturday morning. A 17-year-old was pulled from the basement and flown to Calgary by Stars Air Ambulance. None of the other four people living in the home were injured. Emergency crews were able to put the blaze out before it did much damage to the outside of the building. Police believe it started in the furnace room in the basement of the home. It's a suspicious fire, a suspicious start. The fire investigator from Lethbridge has been out here to uh, view the scene and now our uh, forensic identification section members are in there uh, going through the evidence of the fire. Fort McLeod RCMP are working closely with Calgary fire investigators to examine the cause. The team pulled from the fire, underwent surgery and is now listed in stable condition. Arson charges are pending against a woman who had to be rescued from a burning home in Medicine Hat and then flown to Edmonton for medical treatment. Fire crews were called to the blaze in the 1300 block of 24th Street Southeast yesterday. Firefighters saved the 34-year-old woman and a pet from an upstairs bedroom that was engulfed in flames. Neither the woman's name nor condition have been released.